Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to create some baby shower bingo cards using software called Bingo Card Printer, which you can download from bingocardprinter.com. First of all, I click Create New Bingo Card Project to choose the type of bingo card I'd like to create. I can choose a blank one, enter my own words, choose alphabet, I can choose numbers, I can choose school subjects like English, geography, history, uh, science, I can choose holidays, which includes Christmas, Halloween, and so forth. Uh, but if I go to events, um, I have events like baby shower, birthday, bridal shower, earth hour, and so forth. So uh, baby shower is already selected. Normally, if it's another item, I might have to click on it to select it. I either double click on it or I click on it and then click OK. Um, and there's my baby shower bingo card, initial bingo card, list of words relating to baby on the left hand side, and a list of um, sample bingo card here with those words on it. Um, I can also uh, add my own uh, additional words on the um, left hand side so for example if I wish to add daddy I could type it in and press return and I've added that to the list. The list um, of words is actually in the order they're entered. Um, the words in this particular template uh, are entered in alphabetical order apart from the one I've just manually added. If I do sort it will resort it into alphabetical order. I can also delete items I don't want. So, for example, if I decide I don't want doll, I simply click it and then I click delete or delete on the edit menu and I can uh, edit the list as I want. There's a number of features for that. Now, I can also customize the size and appearance of the bingo card. I can make a smaller bingo card 3x3, 4x4, 5x5, or a larger one like a 6x6. Six six. I haven't actually got enough words entered to fill out a 6x6 six six or a 7x7 seven seven bingo card, uh, so I'd have to enter more in if I wanted to make one like that. So we'll stick to a 5x5 five five for now. Um, I can also choose the heading of the bingo card, uh, first of all whether to have it at all. Secondly, I could change the word bingo to something else if I wanted to. Uh, and I can also choose whether or not to have the free space square in the middle of the bingo card. Turn it on or off as you can see. And I can again, I could change the text of it if I wanted to. Um, uh, other things I can also do is customize the fonts and appearance of the bingo card. Um, I'll show you just some colors, just as an um, example. I will make the bingo card perhaps a nice pink and blue since we don't know whether the baby is a boy or a girl. So we'll choose a pink and we'll make it checkerboard pattern with a uh, nice light blue. Uh, we'll make the free space square to yellow and we'll make the heading uh, green and perhaps we'll change the line color as well we'll make that uh, maybe red okay I could spend more time choose text colors and so forth uh, and if I do that there's my colored bingo card um, you can see here the words as I say are in alphabetical order because this went list in alphabetical order in the real bingo cards when I print them out the words will all be shuffled about um, randomly so every page has a different um, bingo card with different word order. Okay, let's look at the printing options. Um, the first option I have for printing is called Print Call List. I can turn it on or off. Basically what that is, it's just a list of items from the left hand side printed in a random order. Uh, it's very handy if you are um, using bingo cards and you need a printed reference to all the words. Perhaps not quite so applicable in a baby shower bingo card, but it's something you can use if you want. I'll leave it on so you can um, see what a call list looks like, although if I didn't want it I could simply uncheck it. Uh, I'll go, the next option here is how many bingo cards print on each piece of paper. Um, normally you might have one per page, but if you want to print more than one bingo card per page you could do. If you're printing a lot of bingo cards and you want to save paper that's very uh, useful, although you might have to cut the paper up. and um, also, uh, the bingo cards will, each individual one will be smaller if you print more than one per page. So we'll stick to one for demonstration again. And how many different bingo cards do I need? Uh, again, I can modify that to a number that suits me. Put in one, I can put in ten, I can put in 100,000, up to 9,999. Uh, so in this example, let's put 50 just to show you what it would look like. Now ready to print, or I'm going to do print preview so you can see on screen what the printout would look like. First page is the call list, you can see here. That's a list of words in um, random order. If I click next, you will see the first bingo card. I'll zoom out so you can see the whole bingo card there. The words are shuffled around, and um, the bingo card is 
change a random combination of it. And if I click the next page, the next page is different, and the next page is different again, and so forth. And that's uh, basically it as far as creating the bingo card is concerned. There is one other option which I, I think is quite interesting. I'll just show you in the video, which is called Call Game. What the software does it includes a feature to choose items for the bingo game uh, to help the bingo caller out. If you do Call Game, that's it. it chooses an item at random, shows you on the right hand side, and it shows you on the left hand side the items that have previously been called. So if I click Next, it will choose another item and that appears at the top. The previous one, Milk, scrolls down. If I click Next, I get Cradle, a high chair, and Milk scroll down, and so forth. Uh, every time I click next, I get a new item, and the other ones scroll down. So, if you're a bingo caller, it's quite a handy option there to have that in the software. Uh, and uh, that's it. If you go to bingocardprinter.com, you can download a free trial version of the software. It works on all recent versions of Windows. Hopefully, you will like it. And if you do like it, you can register and upgrade to the full version of the software, which is what I've shown you in this video. So. Thank you very much. Go to bringocardprinter.com, download the free trial, try it out, see how you like it. I think you'll like the program very much. Thank you.